the 2K Sports pregame show. NBA regular season opener for a couple of teams. Thank you all for tuning in. So happy you're here. I just, I mean, I'm ecstatic that you're here. And I I'm, miss and you I'm, too, And Ernie. I'm really happy that Kenny and Shaq are here, I too. I miss you, too, Ernie. Thank yeah, you. me, too. For tonight's game, we'll be watching the Golden State Warriors as they go up against the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, for Milwaukee, they haven't forgotten the fact that this team swept them last year in the regular season. This is a game they had circled going in. And fellas, a new season about to begin. Clean slate. Plenty of hopes and dreams out there. Kenny, how do you spot a new legitimate contender? Uh, I usually look for the team with good balance, where one guy isn't doing everything. One guy can facilitate everything, but he doesn't. He can't do everything. So offense, defense, balance, and they got to have a big shot maker. You know, I look for unselfishness, guys playing with each other, mental toughness. No weak by the team has ever won a championship, Bernie. How about continuity, too? How about very little changeover from a team that was really good the previous year, may not have gone as far as they wanted, but returning the same bunch? That helps. Yeah. Well yeah. said. Well yeah. Said. No, no need to add anything to continuity. that. Continuity. continuity. Yeah. Kevin Harlan knows all about that. the sold out and noisy Oracle Arena. We've got the Milwaukee Bucks facing the NBA champion Golden State Warriors. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. And David Aldridge is standing by for our pregame report. David, good evening. Well, guys, Giannis Adentacumpo came to the NBA as an unheralded 19-year-old from Greece. But he's been a quick study at the NBA level. One reason? He actually takes notes. He said, we all make mistakes and your mind can't remember them all. I write what I did wrong and what worked. I'm going to keep it going. Someday, I'll have a collection. That dedication, Kevin, the sky is the limit for the Greek freak. Boy, that's fascinating stuff, DA. Thank you so much. What better way to learn from your mistakes? And two teams with deep rosters. When he talk about the value of depth over the course of a long and arduous season. Well, you get a chance to see the great teams uh, that don't have to rely on just their first seven. Uh, that really go down all the way to the list of 12, 13, 14 guys. Uh, the Golden State Warriors, the San Antonio Spurs, they have, over the years, played their entire roster and played them in crunch time. And a lot of times, their second unit, they win games for them. And the Cavaliers, that's another team had to throw in there. Yeah, they can weather injuries and still move forward. Yes. All right, let's set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Setting the floor for the Bucks. All the big Bucks up front. Giannis, Parker, and Maker. Ogden and Middleton are the guard tandem. And so the Milwaukee Bucks get the first points of the ball game. Wasted no time on that one. Curry is being guarded closely. He makes it look so easy, though. The speed of his release is just unreal. And the double up on it to Kumbo. Maker with the ball. Out guarded by Pachulia. And Durant sends it back. From the baseline. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. There's just so many ways Durant can beat you. This time converting on the rebound. And so it's Milwaukee with it. Now on the Kumbo. They set the screen, and Durant comes to help. Parker dishes to Antetokounmpo. 
Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And we watch Giannis out there. He just looked unstoppable, Greg, at times. The way he's able to attack the rim, the blend of size, uh, speed, and length is just unparalleled in the NBA. And it's the movement that throws you off with Giannis. One step, and, and he's gone from the three line to the rim. There isn't any way to stop someone that skilled who's that big. Here's Parker. Green with the block. You know, so much of Draymond's rim protection comes from position. But this time, he just flat out went got it. Can't convert, but a good opportunity from mid-range. He'll take that every time. Middleton for three. But they'll get another chance. And Steph Curry with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Already his second foul here in the first makes it a tough decision whether to leave him in or not. And Durant comes to help. Brogdon against Kerr. Parker with a clean look. And it's Parker again missing. Warriors have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Got that one up quick. Durant's got his second basket. And that's where KD just feasts with this team. When it comes to those spot-ups, he's as good as anyone in the league. A shot by Adetokounmpo. Nobody around. And the Bucks miss again. It's Durant with the drive. Adetokounmpo grabs the miss. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Durant with the steal. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Durant's running. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. So difficult to defend Kevin Durant without fouling him. At his size, once he gets that ball above his shoulders, there's not much you can do. Durant hits them both. And last season, Durant was again playing at a very high level, even after shifting teams and deferring to other stars. And before his injury, there was talk of him being in the MVP conversation. Which is scary because you know when he's healthy, every year he will be in that conversation. As long as he's healthy, he will be considered one of the top players in the league. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Parker sets the screen for Middleton, sinks the three-pointer. Middleton's got six points. How on earth did they let him get that wide open? From deep green, and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And right now, Draymond is just cooking, immediately firing, having confidence in himself and knowing he can knock that one down. Dishes it to Middleton from deep, and the rebound goes to the Warriors. Here's Green, and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And the foul called on the Milwaukee Bucks. Many can argue at this point that Draymond should have had three Defensive Player of the Year awards. Arguably one of the most impactful defenders of this generation. Can take over a game without ever scoring a point. And taking over without scoring is a Draymond specialty. Steve, you think back to his triple-double with points not being one of those categories. Kevin, Draymond is just an amazingly unique player in the NBA with his defense. Can actually guard positions one through five. Plays his best defense when the moment matters the most. Baseline try. Milwaukee, no good that time either. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Here's Thompson, and good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Thompson's got his first basket. Great effort from Thompson, using his lint to his advantage there. Poked away, stolen by Thompson. He had stolen by Maker. Now, here's Brogdon. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Count that one. Obviously, a mix-up defensively on that possession. Durant attacking, and no good that time. And Milwaukee the other way now. Middleton the pass to Brogdon. Here's Honda Takumbo. And the three off target. It's been a frustrating quarter for him shooting the basketball. He just has to make sure he's taking good shots. Good on the bucket. Good defense, better offense. Durant more than capable of burying shots with a hand in his face. Here's Brogdon. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. Inside, Maker, and the dunk by Maker. 
And, you know, that's an example of how many plays we have in a game for which there's no stack. A monster dunk coming off just a terrific pick play. Greg, you're right. It really did work to perfection. Gave him all the room he needed for the flush. That's what happens when you get an excellent screen like that. He had plenty of space to slash right toward the basket. And there's the call on Pachulia. That is his first foul of the game. Andre Gudala. He's checked in for Pachulia. Milwaukee also making some changes. Greg Monroe, he's checked in for Maker. Tony Snell comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's Matthew Della Vadova in for Brogdon. Now here is Della Vadova. It's good from long range. Middleton's got nine. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with Kyle. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. He's so clever driving the basketball, but now he's starting to have the strength and the ability to finish these buckets. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. West is checked in for Draymond Green. Young comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's Livingston in for Clay Thompson. Now here is Monroe. Tipped away. Now here is Della Vadova, guarded by Kerr. Five to shoot, and that one's good. Parker. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. And the Warriors miss again. Bucks trail by five. Middleton outside. Out to the right wing. Della Vidova kicks to Parker. Back to Della Vidova, trying his luck deep, and it's good in the assist by Parker. Golden State's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And the Warriors dominant last season again, not only because, Greg, of their offense, but because of their defense. One of the best in the NBA, and they're just so active on that end of the floor. No doubt about it. And, and you know what? Credit their personnel, because it allows them so much more flexibility defensively. And even when they go small, they, they have excellent rim protection. They're a physical bunch. I just don't think they get enough credit for their rebounding. One of the better teams in our league. Stephen Curry with the pull-up jump shot. You cannot back off him. He will scorch you. Now here is Della Vadova, guarded by Curry. He dishes it to West. Back to Curry. Off with the layup. No hesitation. He took it right to the rack. But a quick reaction by the defense. The Warriors lead it. Passes it to Livingston. Power down with both hands. Awesome look from Stephen Curry. Outstanding at distributing the basketball. There's 138 left here in the first quarter. And it's Parker at the elbow. And the call will be against Sean Livingston. That's his first foul. And the Warriors making a change here. McCaw's checked in. 132 left to play in the first quarter. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. And a look now at the four areas where shots can come from. The paint, mid-range, and shots from deep all broken down for the Warriors. And the one shot they've stayed away from tonight has been that long three. They've been a little more consistent with their shot selection, not launching as many deep threes. Takes the three. Livingston, no luck. Bucks trail by four. Delavan over with the ball, and Young picks him up defensively. Parker kicks to Delavidova. Middleton dishes to Monroe. Three-pointer, Delavidova. David West grabs the miss. The Warriors shooting 45% from the floor since the game got underway. Shot on the wing, and it's wide right. Hits off the rim. One could argue that's a good shot, but maybe not the right shooter to take it. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Wow, and this is his range. Maybe he was too wide open. Here's Young. The shot misses. Excellent D there from Parker. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting 36% in this first quarter, trying to get their bearings. Smell, no good. Warriors leading by four. And Young, here we go. Rebounded by the Bucks. Snell's got his third rebound on the night. And he's got his first free throw of the game. 
That's good from Snell. He makes one of two that time. To the inside. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. And the Warriors lead by five. Kicks it to Park. Here's the three. That drops and it comes off an assist from Delavidova. Delavidova's got three assists tonight. And no good trying to get that one. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Golden State Warriors. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And certainly one of the game's bigger personalities, Draymond Green, had this to say about his approach to leadership. Most importantly, it's just about how the guys respond to me. And, uh, you know, just really bringing that energy and that attitude and that fire each and every night, every day, whether it's in practice, whether it's, you know, in the game, whatever it is, just always bringing that energy and that passion. A heart and soul guy, Draymond Green has the kind of spirit guys that everyone else can just kind of feed off of. Yeah, his talents and contributions now being appreciated. He's forced his way into the discussion of top 10 players in our league. And off we go, a close game. Now starting the second quarter. And from what we've seen so far from the Warriors, how would you grade them? I tell you what, that first quarter, you can see the game plan is a commitment to offensive rebound. That's their mindset. And these extra possessions have been converted into a lead. Setting the floor for the Bucs. Parker is the four with Monroe in the middle. Matthew Delavidova is out there with Chris Middleton. And it's Snell in at the three spot. Well, you watch the all-around game of Sean Livingston, and there's a lot to like. Very soft on his turnaround and pull-up shots. Great vision, solid defender. He pretty much does everything well. Yep, that one goes. Iguodala's got his first bucket of the night. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And Iguodala comes to help. Delavidova kicks to Snell. In the corner, Middleton with it. Down low. Here's Monroe over West. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on David West. And with Livingston, you have to remember that his career was nearly ended by a devastating knee injury. Many players wouldn't have attempted to come back from an injury like that, but Steve, he has, and he has found success. Kevin, it's hard not to cheer for a guy like Sean Livingston who has gone through so much. You wonder how great he could have been if the injury never happened. I see him. He could have been playing or would have been an all-star in this game. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Guys, Kevin Durant is a unique player. Ron James said he's a seven-footer with six-foot ball handling skills, a jump shot, and athleticism. It's never been done in our league. Never had a guy that's seven foot and can do all that, so it sets him apart. Kevin, I'm six feet tall, and I can broadcast. <laughs> you can, and you can write, and by the way, you're in the Hall of Fame. DA, thank you. And for the last few seasons, we've seen where Andre Iguodala's role on offense has diminished. You know, he still contributes, but tends to defer a bit more there. And one thing you can say, though, defensively, still at an elite level in terms of his versatility. Durant's checked in for the Warriors. Thompson comes in for Sean Livingston. The free throw line is something that Iggy needs to work on. He's hit or miss from there. Durant against Zanadokounmpo, and the whistle blow is going to be on Andre Iguodala. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Brogdon. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Stolen by Thompson. That's going to drive your coach crazy. Protect the basketball. He lost focus for one second. There goes the possession. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You, you lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. Perhaps, Greg, the biggest asset Iguodala brings to a team is his ability to defend. I mean, he just has great timing for when to go for the steal. I mean, he can still move his feet well and, and can guard anybody, but the versatility to guard point guards to power forwards is something that makes him special. 
and no hesitation attacking the defense. Body to body, Durant with an impressive finish. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Yeah, and the amount of points they've given up here in the paint, that, that's what they got to talk about. You know, for the most part, their perimeter D is holding up, but they might have to sacrifice some of that to close down the lane. And pretty much every NBA player grew up playing multiple sports. Smitty, which other sports did you play as a kid growing up? And did you think maybe that would have helped you playing basketball later on? You know, Kevin, I tried football, and it definitely helped me in basketball because I said, no, this is not for me. So let me put all my emphasis in basketball. Taking those hits, I just wasn't built for that. And after that, I ran cross country because you had to do two sports in my high school to be able to play one. I didn't like that either, but I think cross country really helped me with basketball. But I can see where a lot of other sports could help with footwork and hand-eye coordination and right on down the line. Yeah, I, uh, soccer I think is number one. I watched Tony Parker, the way his movement playing soccer. My son right now is playing soccer. Akeem Olajuwon, I think that's the sport that coincides the best with basketball. I would agree. But Julia, he's checked in for Golden State. Here's the list of players who had the most steals in the NBA last season. Number one, Draymond Green. There were so many nights when he controlled the game through his defense. Not a surprise to see him ranked at the top. Maker with the ball, guarded now by Durant. And that one's good, Brogdon. Wow, fired that bounce pass in there. Beautiful. Warriors leading by seven. Then Pachulia with the dunk. I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Now, here is Della Vadova. And there's the call on Pachulia. That'll be his second foul of the game. And it's still early in the period, and they're only one foul away from being over the limit. Here's Della Vadova. Anda Takumbo kicks to Della Vadova. And a great assist by Anda Takumbo as that one goes in. Elvidova's got six points. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And that one, good. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. And the dunk by Maker. And if that doesn't get them fired up, guys, nothing will. Greg, just what the doctor ordered us, some high-flying annex to narrow the deficit. Not only does that dunk help in cutting into this league, but it gives this team a real confidence boost, too. Ande Tacumbo and the slam dunk by Ante Tacumbo. And how about the initiative there from Ante Tacumbo? Excellent at seeing lanes to the basket and then just taking advantage. Here's Durant. Again, Durant missing. Bucks trail by four. Delve it over with the ball. Six points for him. Here's Brogdon, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Malcolm Brogdon, a second-round pick out of the University of Virginia. What a find Greg he has been, and you love that he can fill in at either guard spot. And you get the feeling Brogdon was overlooked for being a four-year player in college. Has the passing and vision of a point guard. Scores well enough from inside and out to play off the ball as well. Monroe, no good. The Warriors have gone 8 of 12 since the start of the second quarter. That's a really high percentage, hitting around 67%. And checking out the numbers for Durant. Coming off a terrific season, he averaged 25 points per, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists. And he's been putting up points with regularity. I mean, that's what they depend on, his killer instinct on offense. Well, and we've seen defenses try to adjust. But he has the intelligence along with the talent, just finds new ways to beat them. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. Got a piece of it. Now Monroe kicks to Brockton. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And the double up out of the Kumbo. Just three to shoot. Counted, and the Warrior lead has been cut to just one point on the basket from Della Vidova. The point forward skills of Giannis, another aspect of his great versatility, which is so maddening to try and defend. This is why you like to get him touches. He makes things happen. Here's Della Vidova. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. Della Vidova, the pass to Anda Dacumbo.
Now here's Durant. T right on him. Here's McCaw. Not enough on that one as it misses. Bucks trail by three. And here is Della Vidova. He's got eight. And the call will be against Patrick McCaw. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. Steve, so let me ask you this. Do players consciously think about, I need a couple free throws. I need a couple of layups. I got to get a couple of shots per quarter. I mean, do they, do they try to plot and plan an individual quarter like that and how they're going to score in different ways? I, you're totally right, Kevin. The reason why is because as a two-guard back in the day, if I could get to that free throw line and put a foul on a guy that's guarding me, that loosens up his defensive mentality. He's not as aggressive. And then now I know at the, when I get to the bonus, I can drive it. He's either going to let me go or I can create contact and get to that line. You want to score easy, and that's how most scorers do. They really score easy. We just kind of applaud them when they're knocking down threes and big shots. And there's the call on Pachulli. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. And the Warriors with some changes. West comes in for Zaza Pachulia. Young is subbed in for Draymond Green. The Bucs also changing it up. Parker's checked in for Monroe. Tony Snell comes in for Ronda Tacumbo. And Middleton subbed in for Matthew Delavidova. Now here's Brogdon. Five points in the game. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Curry and Makers sends it back. Middleton outside. And again, the Bucks miss. The Warriors trailing. On its way from Curry for two. Another miss by Curry. Ah, he's trying to shoot his way out of this slump, but it's not to be. The shot by Brogdon, no good. Well defended, though, and, and he's not someone who handles that kind of pressure very well. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on an 18-7 run. Here's Parker. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Durant's got eight rebounds in this game. You can see the frustration. They hold the lead, but he wants to be able to contribute. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Brogdon with it. Picked up by Thompson. The feed to Snell. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. A three-pointer is right on target. Brogdon's got eight. And after a scoreless first quarter, he's finally finding the range here in the second. Young. Here's West. An easy layup after coming off the pick. West has got the game tied up here for the Warriors. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Great D that time from Durant. Warriors shooting 48% on their attempts here in quarter number two. And there's Thompson. That's good on the assist from West. Six points for Clay Thompson. Thompson, one of the best in the business at pulling up off the dribble. Knocked loose. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Andre Gudala. He's checked in for the Warriors. Livingston comes in for Clay Thompson. 29 seconds left in the first half of basketball. They set the screen. Brogdon kicks to make it. Misses the three. The Warriors shooting from the field. 44%, not bad. Offensive rebound. And the basket by West. Defensively, you cause the miss, but then you have to corral it. You know, there is nothing more frustrating than that. Giving up points on a possession, you won. And here we go with Curry running it up the court. Good. Now it's a six-point Warrior lead. Stephen Curry is just ridiculous. So wiry, strong, and deceptive of getting to the teeth of the defense. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball um, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting and our spacing and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. 
Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. They never trailed by more than three points and it was neck and neck the entire period. Well, for the Warriors, Kenny, what do you think? Efficiency, you know, I think that's big. That's a key to success. You got to protect the basketball. You can't make those risky passes that lead to highlight film dunks. So I thought it was a great job. And now Shaq, let's get your opinion on Milwaukee. Well, they're shooting in the low 30s from downtown. That's not disastrous, that's terrible. But it's a big reason why they're not winning this game. They need to run harder off the picks, try to get more open looks, and then the shooters got to finish the job. Yak em. That's it for halftime. Glad you could join us, as now we send you back to the action for the start of the third quarter. Welcome back to the Bay Area, everyone, as we take a peek at Coit Tower, the skyline of gorgeous San Francisco just behind. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. And let's see what the defense counters with to try and control him here in the second half. Well, you like to run more doubles at him, but the risk there is opens up things for everybody else. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. Warriors leading by six. The sharpshooters Curry and Thompson are at the one and the two. Inside, we've got Draymond at the four and Pachulia to his side. And it's Durant in at the three. That's Steve Kerr's five as we get into the second half. Steve, with the way Curry has transformed this Warrior team into perennial title contenders, the MVP awards and all the hardware, how soon is it before you start the conversation of where Steph Curry falls among the all-time greats? Well, Kevin, I, I would love to start that conversation with most players when their career is over or close to being over. Curry has an unbelievable resume, but I will say, as of right now, I can say he's the best shooter of all time. NBA champion, multiple award winning MVP. Now it's just about longevity for him. Here's Brogdon following the basket by Draymond Green. Maker, Middleton, great positioning on the putback. Oh, great timing. He is one tough customer on that offensive glass. You know, it's like he has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. A solid beginning to this second half offensively. Three for four from the floor. And Pachulia over to help. And there's the call on Pachulia. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. That's his fourth foul of the evening. He needs to be careful now. Pick and choose where to be aggressive. Now here's Brogdon. He's got eight. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Here's Curry. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Parker. While we have the time, let's take a look at last season's best transition teams. The Warriors, number one. Do they love to run? I mean, nobody did it better. They would get out in the lanes and push the ball even after makes. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Can Kevin Durant score the ball? His water wet all day, every day. Here's Brogdon. Thompson comes with the double team. It's Durant. Oh. <laughs> Putting a little creativity into it. Durant usually making it look easy, but not here. And the replay presented, of course, by Under Armour. Unleash chaos. Great stuff and some great basketball going on. Timeout called the Bucks. The one thing about the way Durant played last season that stood out to me was his defense. Showed that he is more than just a plus defender. Showed he's a great defender. Was instrumental in what the Warriors were able to do. Yeah. 
chance now to review the shot chart for Milwaukee. Well, they're going to have to look elsewhere for points because he has pulled a Houdini and, and completely disappeared from the offense in this one. Just no production from him and, and nothing seems to be in rhythm for him right now. It's just not his night. Bucks trail by 13. And all the things that make Durant so incredible on the offensive end help him on the defensive side as well, Steve. His length and Lateral mobility can erase a lot of mistakes. Well, Kevin, well, a career high in block shots for him last season, but that doesn't tell the whole story. You don't think of him as a rim protector, but that is what he was. Durant doesn't get enough credit for his impact on that side of the ball. Just relentless. I'm really impressed with how they've been able to maintain that focus. When you have a huge lead, it's easy to get sloppy on offense. They haven't fallen into that trap. I can't understand in the midst of a game you leave an elite shooter this wide open. And the basket by Curry. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Now here's Adetokounmpo over to the wing. Now here's Maker defended by Durant. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. A different look for Milwaukee. Monroe comes in for Maker, and it's Matthew Dellavedova in for Malcolm Brogdon. The Bucks have shot the ball pretty well from the line, going eight of eleven. Yeah, Antetokounmpo, just incredibly talented, a long, lanky, athletic powerhouse of a player. To the paint, count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut to just nine on the basket for Middleton. The Warriors have gone seven of ten on their field goal attempts here in the third. Pachulia, no luck. And forcing the miss there. He just knows how to pressure you defensively. And also protecting the rim at all costs. I love the anticipation to affect the shot. And that was an easy one there. Just a missed opportunity. If you give it to him, he'll take that shot every time down the floor. I'm sure he's kicking himself. And how about a little bit of showmanship there as he increases the lead? Oh, I like that. That's got to be, though, a tough pill for the defense to swallow. Yes, indeed. The D thought they had him, but he still found a way to get it done. Here's Zonda Takumbo following the score by Golden State. Yep, that one goes in there. Excellent use of the screen there to free himself up and create space to make the open J. Rebounded by Greg Monroe. Monroe's got rebound number five here tonight. And the double up out of Dekumbo. Elevadova dishes to Parker. Screen by Monroe. Middleton with it. Now Green defending. Shot clock at five. Monroe with a screen on Pachulia. That's a two from Elevadova. It's rebounded by Golden State. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one, and that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. Great decision from Draymond to go up into the D there with his big body. Such an intelligent player. Milwaukee making a switch here. Snell's checked in. That's good from Green. Well, you just watch the way that Klay Thompson shoots, and you're surprised when the ball doesn't go in. I mean, one thing with Clay too, in his shot, he believes it's all going to go in. More importantly, so does his teammates. And he's got that shooter's mentality where he just will continue to trust in his mechanics. And I don't think he gets enough credit for just how hard he works to maintain that shot. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. The Bucks have been shooting right around 75% at the line, 9 of 12 so far. And last season, 77% from the line. They could usually get the job done there. Both good from the line that time. 
Steve, more and more, we see guards turn to the Euro step to get around defenders and around to the rim. It's a slight move, but it's so effective. Uh, which players do you think execute that move the best? I think Manu. He's one of the guys I play with, even though he's older. Still to perfection. Um, Kevin Durant at his size is unbelievable. DeMar DeRozan, James Harden. And yeah. then, I don't know if a Euro step, you can call it for Russell Westbrook. He just changes direction. It looks like a sped-up Euro step in Russell Westbrook's situation. Um, those are some of the guys that stand out. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And coach most likely wants to address their turnover issues. The offense looks forced right now. Rush, there's no synergy to it. They have to find a way to work together and remain aggressive without making mistakes. Checking out the numbers for Andy Takumpo. He's coming off an excellent season. He averaged about 23 points a game last year. Eight rebounds and five assists. And no secret, he can score the ball number one on the team last year. He loves being the go-to guy. You can see it in his swagger. And boy, he sure lit it up last season. Tipped away, and it's the Warriors with the ball. McCaw kicks to Green, and it's Green with the jam. At six foot seven, Draymond's always capable of skying up for slams like that one. Bucks trail by 14. Outside, out of the Kumbo. The shot by Middleton, wide open. And again, the Bucks miss. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Durant, that's good. Maybe the most deadly mid-range score in the league. Kevin Durant, one of the few players who could live off those if he wanted to. Snell from outside, and a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. Antetokounmpo's got his fifth assist in this one. That one goes. Count it. Up by a bunch. He's still pushing the action, trying to impose his will. With this big of a deficit in the score, you think the losing team will be playing harder. Nope, the opposite. Out of bounds, Milwaukee takes possession. And how about the numbers on Draymond Green? Last season, he played outstanding. First in steals, ninth in assists, and a top 15 ranking in blocks per game, supplying that backline protection that is so key to a great defense. And as you said, first in steals last season, you have to say he's the best ball hawk in the league right now. It may not even be close. Oh, you can tell he's frustrated to get that good of a look from three, and he didn't make it. How about the quarter he's having? Tremendous execution on the offensive end, helping to further fuel this lead. Snell from outside, nailed from three-point land. Snell's got six points in the quarter. And Snell is an effective floor spacer, a consistent threat to drop it in from outside. Oh, okay, it's on. Trading blows here from distance. You know what? Both sides are in rhythm. The defense out there having no effect. You know, last season, Steve Kerr once again having to miss time due to complications from his back surgery. Missed the majority of the team's postseason. But he got through the regular season fine, but it's something that has troubled him off and on. And, and really the story of the half, one team shooting it lights out, the other, the lights are just out. You know what is two competing philosophies. One team playing it close to the best, the other fast and loose. Milwaukee with the ball. The Warriors making the shot. Up again, it's rebounded by Livingston. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Okay, time now for an injury report. Now an update on Matthew Dellavedova from David Aldridge. Dave, what'd you find out? Thanks, Kevin. I just talked with the Bucks' head athletic trainer. He said he turned his ankle, and it is definitely starting to swell up. A really discouraging development for this team at such an early point in the season. We'll see how they respond, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Hopefully everything works out for him. 
And having worked with Steve Kerr here at 2K and other capacities, usually we get to rib him a lot and make jokes whenever we see him coaching. But you know, Steve, I speak for everyone in the 2K family when we wish Steve all the best and hope he can overcome these health issues. I totally echo that, uh, Kevin. Uh, Steve Kerr is just an NBA lifer. But more than that, he's a fantastic coach and even a better person. We hope to see him on the sidelines for years to come. And the Warriors with some changes. David West, he's checked in for Durant. And Nick Young is subbed in for Patrick McCall. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Ogden's checked in. Milwaukee's gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. And a chance here to take a look at the shooting chart for Durant. What a display we've seen from them so far. Every half open look they've gotten, they've knocked down and showed no signs of letting up. Right now, they are in the driver's seat. As long as they can keep their rhythm on offense, they'll just steamroll this team the rest of the way. Every so often, Steve, Andre Iguodala will dial it back to when he was younger and remind you of what he once was, one of the best players in the NBA, one of the most athletic players in the league. Now he usually saves that for big moments or, or when the team needs him to be that kind of player. You're so right. You remember last season when Kevin Durant went down? Iguodala played fantastic basketball in Durant's absence. You almost felt like Iguodala is holding back until he's needed the most. And the jam by Andre Iguodala. Gotta love the tenacity from Iggy there. Always love seeing him ram it through. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Snell from outside, and a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Snell's got nine points in the quarter. Here's Young, and there are the Warriors now with another bucket. And what a half for this offense. If they can stay this hot, a great chance to extend this lead. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Nick Young. And that'll be his third foul so far. Onda Takumbo kicks to Brogdon. And he connects on the jumper. The screen did the trick. Brogdon's got 10 points. Excellent play. Oh! <laughs> and just a spectacular play from Iggy there. Seeing a path to the basket and just taking off towards the rim. Snell from outside. No good that time. And so it's the Golden State Warriors ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Now let's listen in to head coach Steve Kerr. Move it to the next guy, drive and kick, let it come out of the wash, all right? And Steve Kerr asking his guys to simply run their offense, share the basketball. Yeah, and don't just settle for tossing it around the horn. Attack the defense, play inside out when you can. And we're getting underway here in the fourth quarter. The scoreboard tells the story in this matchup, but we'll see how much things change up here. On the floor for Milwaukee, starting the fourth quarter. Tony Snell is out there with Wilson. Then there's Terry. Then there's Maker. And it's Vaughn in at the two guard. Kept alive, McGee. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Pass to Vaughn. Back to Terry. Knocks it loose. Stolen by McGee. He kicks to Livingston. To the middle. And the slam dunk by McGee. Sean Livingston's court vision is amazing. Being able to hit the open guy right on stride. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Here's Vaughn, fended by West. Poked away. Pass to McGee. Up and in on the layup. That, that's something about all these turnovers. Right, right away, you're at a disadvantage defensively. And the Bucks with possession here. They can look forward to the American Airlines Center after this game. They'll match up against Dallas. 
That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. The wide-open look here for Terry. No good on the three. It's a plus-five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Livingston, no luck. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. Outside, Terry. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the D. And this is the value of letting the play develop. You find the weakness in the defense. Here's Vaughn. There's the dish to Terry. Fires for three. Rebounded by McGee. I'll tell you, the defense dodging a bullet right there. That's his shot. And Thompson gets it to go. And you can see now they're starting to push the tempo to good effect. Milwaukee's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Thompson comes with the double team. 17-foot shot on the way. Maker misses. I mean, the mid-range jump shot, a lot of guys have a hard time knocking it down. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And it's out of bounds. Last oh, oh. touch by Thompson. Petrulia, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. The Bucks also with the sub. Henson checked in for Thon Maker. Now Terry. Vaughn, the pass to Henson. Here's Vaughn. He's covered by Thompson. Expanding his range. And Pachulia pulls it down. Pachulia's got eight rebounds in this game. The shot by Thompson, no good. For Milwaukee, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Outside Terry. But they'll get another chance. Wow, another opportunity. Just everything going their way. Pretty much the story of this game. And you can see where they're attacking here in the fourth, strictly from the perimeter. You know, plenty of teams, they try this strategy. Works when you're hot, but works against you when you're not. Here's Vaughn. Knocks it loose. Young with the steal. And oh, here we go. Young's got it. The fast break chance. And Young with the stuff. And a late reaction by the defense makes that one a no contest. You know, he got out before people could turn their heads, and he's already gone with no hesitation. Three-pointer, Snell, and another three for Milwaukee. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes? The defense is just giving up a barrage. Thompson is so smart at seeing a lane to the hoop, always ready to throw it down over the defense. For Milwaukee, they've gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth, or of nine. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on Jason Terry. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Well, and each player has their strengths and their weaknesses, Smitty. When you played, what did you feel was your greatest strength as a player? And maybe the one area that held you back a little bit. I think basketball IQ, being able to shoot the basketball, versatility. And then I think the one thing that held me back, I wish I was more athletic. I really wish I could jump, Kevin, high like a lot of these guys, because I think that gives you an advantage if you have both the IQ, the versatility, and athleticism. The Warriors have gotten exactly two-thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth, 8 of 12. Allowing no space for the shooter to get comfortable. Just terrific defense. What I love is he takes the right angle, affects the shot without fouling. And there's the call on Pachulia. That will be foul number five on him. Here's Terry. Feeds it to Snell over Young. That one off the back iron and out. Not sure of the thought process on that one. Really bad shot selection. Well, you're playing for the team, not just yourself. They needed much better execution that trip down the floor. Here's Snell. And the Bucks miss again. Here's Livingston. Vaughn with the rebound. 
you know, this is a time when you don't have to force anything. You're in command of this game. There's the pass to Terry. Sinks the triple. Terry's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Bucks. And since halftime, they have been locked and loaded from beyond. Yeah, forcing defenders to come out and guard them, which could open up driving lanes if they want to take advantage of that. Now here's Terry. Henson with the screen. And the foul on Jason Terry. That's foul number two for him. And Smitty, this year the NBA choosing to start the season a bit earlier to cut down on the back-to-back -back games during the year. Do you think the NBA should spread the schedule out even more? Are you happy the way they have at least gone about this season? I think the NBA, Adam Silver and those guys have done a fantastic job. I love how they give the guys basically a week after All-Star game. They're starting a little bit early to cut down the back-to-backs. Uh, either way, if you can find ways to help the recovery time is great. But I think right now, the, the, the league and the games and the scheduling, they're in good hands right now. Vaughn kicks to Terry. Knocked away. Pachulia the pass to McCaw. From the corner. And he nails the jumper. McCaw has got nine points here in the second half. He's in fuego right now. When he gets like this, he's hard to stop. Over to the wing, Vaughn. They grab their own miss. The shot's good from Henson. Love the extra possessions. Defense has them stopped, but can't control the boards. That one goes. Count it. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. For Milwaukee, they've gone 7 to 16 from the field here in the fourth. That's about 43%. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, Greg, the Bucs can be a fearsome defense when things are clicking. And the Bucs will do it with several approaches. I mean, great numbers in terms of steals and blocks. They force a lot of turnovers with their pressure and ball hawking skill. It's just a matter of when the offense can catch up to the defense. Shots good from Young. You look at that lead pass there. He just has such a great feel for the game. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Warriors. Oh, okay, wow. okay. And guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yes. that's for sure. Here's Snell, defended by Young. Vaughn kicks to Toledovich. Lays it up and banks it in. Soft interior defense. You know he's going to be aggressive. Golden State's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Well, what did Coach tell us? He wanted each guy to contest shots and rebound tonight. That's exactly what we just saw. Vaughn kicks to Snell. Toledovich the screen. Let's the three fly. That one doesn't drop. The Warriors go the other way with it. Here's West. Got it. Good job in the low post. And this is the kind of deficit it would take a miracle to overcome. I think this hometown crowd agrees with you. They are fired up about it. This is it to Vaughn. He tries for three. Warriors with time the out, rebound. Timeout time called the Warriors. Start it. They're up by 26. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? You know, I'm not sure why you call a timeout this late. I mean, the game is more or less over. I'm not questioning that either, but he clearly hasn't given up on this one quite yet. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Kevin Durant. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. Twenty seconds left in the fourth quarter. 
And again, it's the Warriors missing. Vaughn kicks to Terry. Puts up a three. Trains the three-pointer. Here is Caspi. That one wide left. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Steph, everyone knows you do a lot of different things for this team, but what would you say your primary focus is? I'm trying to just take uh, responsibility in my defensive uh, duties. Pushing the point guard, uh, force them in a different situation, difficult shots. Being our first you know, line of defense uh, as they're bringing the ball up, put pressure on them. And, Try to take them out their offense. That's a lot of great point guards in this league, so I got to be able to do that all year and uh, try to get a good start to that this season. That's what franchise players do, play at both ends. Thank you, Steph. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.